open it. Here, Brother Billy. Look, I got a new T-shirt. Just the Fort Hill thing. But what's that say right there? International Student Association. International Students Association. That would be me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look, look. The International Students Association. Look, look at the back, Brother Billy. What does it say back there? Fort Hill, my home away from home. Fort Hill, my home. Away from home. Wait a second. Can you just hold this for just a second, Brother Billy? Just hold on. I gotta do a little renovations in your place here because this is done now. This is the way I've been through the audio drama. So that's, uh, that's, that's history, as they say. Well, you know, history is what you make it. But, you know, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take that off. Yeah. What you say? I'm gonna fill in your bench. If I don't waste that big. Look at that, we're gonna take that back. A fun time was had by some, I would say all. Oh, but let me tell you, I'm not gonna complain too much. I made a complaint at the end. You know, we had this thing scheduled, and of course, I knew it was gonna start, you know, the event was gonna start late. But you said, see what happened? I made them start. They were late, but I made them start because I had my, my altitude, my drum. You know, and I was doing some audience, you know, uh, uh, instructing the audience. So it's like 9.45, it's supposed to start at 9, 9 o'clock, 9.45. So I got up there, banged the drum, told them like, hey, in Ghana, you know, when the, when the royals wake up, this just waste them out to talk and drum, you see? And then important announcements being made. So I made important announcements. And since I did that, they had to start. Hey, audio drum. Anyway, so it was going on and on and on, you know, all these speeches, speeches, speeches. And then... The strange thing happened. I think the students, the students in, in, in the world now are getting a little um, uh, antsy or testy or something like that. Because the, the, you know we have a, we have a Fort Hare campus, of course, at the Bishop campus, and we have the East London campus. Well, the East London felt they weren't represented, so they came to hijack the situation. So they wanted to have more people of their school. So our audio drama thing got a little bit pushed back, you know, and then. You know, I think our, our director, these people are so intimidated by them, they try to come to me and say, well, yeah, I think you'll have to cut the audio drama, you know, cut the play. And I looked at them like they were crazy. I said, cut the play. First of all, I didn't tell them this, but first of all, you know, when you get to a speech, you know, you get speech, you just talk, you talk, you know, the library person is there, <laughs> library person is there, just talking, talking, talking. You know, we rehearse. There's things we like him. That's a colleague who was there making signs and everything like that. So we worked for two days. And then somebody who just come there and speak, they have all the time. They're going to try to cut us. I said, no way. Oof. Then the second thing they tried to do, this is funny. They was going to take a tea break before the play. Again, I, I, I'm going to get up there and say, we're going to take I said, no, we're not. <laughs> Can you imagine if they had a tea break and all those people walked out? Do you think they was going to come back in? Come on now, who is who's not thinking here? But, but anyway, we had a good time. Well, at least the kids, well, we all had a good time. It was fun. And afterwards, everybody said, oh, yeah, because they finally understand what I do, because this is what I do. But I tell you, it was a little disappointing, you know, because a lot of people I thought was going to show up to see what I do. You'd at least be curious, you know. And they didn't show up. Oh, well, you know. So I said, okay, fine. That's all right. You just missed it because we had a really, really good time. But I'm telling you, we have to we have to be a little bit more organized. As an event stage manager, which is what I am these days, I, next time we don't organize this thing the way I know it should be organized. There ain't gonna be no hijacking. You know, they only have full. You know, they have to be involved in the very beginning. You know, but I have to say that this is a critical thing. If this thing happens like this, it's because, you know, your director, whatever have you, they're wanting, let's put it that way. They don't know what they're doing. If they can allow, because one of the things that happened was, not with the play was, <laughs> was great, but what was really bad was that we were supposed to take the buses to Bishu and then to East London. Well, the buses I on, well, I was on, they didn't go to Bishu, they went straight to East London. So well, why is that? Because it's on a program to do that. And so, some students, whatever, told the bus drivers to go straight to East London and not to go to Bishu. Only one bus went to Bishu and they had a whole program involved, whatever have you. So now I gotta write up a whole criticism on how to deal with this. Because next time what you do, you feed them in Bishu instead of East London. <laughs> so they got to go to Bishu. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> There's always a way to deal with these type of things. But the last thing I have to say, again, against the director, whatever have you, those guys didn't do nothing to really facilitate these things. It was all the workers in the office, you know. And so they kept doing their pontificating, like, you know, they, they, they were all big shots and this and that. And they were, you know, one of them even had to you know, get up there talking about. Out of all the people that quote, they're dealing with Martin Luther King. These are international students. I'm the only American. Everybody else is from, you know, Tanzania and, you know, Malawi and, and you know, and Cameroon and DRC, of course, Zimbabwe and Mozambique. They're from all, they're from all over. They're going to quote Martin Luther King. Not only that, it's a Martin Luther King quote talking about integration. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know, you know the, the, uh, 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 Kwame, Kwame, the, the criminal will go crazy, you know. She didn't mention Ghana, you, you, you can't quote, quote, quote Samara Michelle. Why are you quoting Martin Luther King about integration? You know, we just, this is a revolutionary situation we're in right now. So these old heads, they, I don't think they're in touch, you know? And my thing is, he didn't even get on the bus with us. He wasn't in East London. So he made this little thing and went, but this is, he's supposed to be hanging with us. <laughs> oh, I'm writing, I'm writing a scathing criticism. I'm actually writing a little essay about the whole play and everything. After I'm writing a little scathing <laughs> criticism. Because I ain't taking it. Oh, oh, you ain't dealing with Martin Luther King here. You deal more like with Malcolm X, James Baldwin, somebody like that. You know, Ray Hansberry. Anyway, this, this has been, excuse me, I, I know I vented, but this has been one of those dispatches when the arts director emerges. That would be me, T. Doyle Dramatist, letting you know. <coughs> But I only suspect, because I'm on my way. <laughs>